Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. And today I'm so excited to be talking about EDI for retail. So if you have a great consumer product that you think should be on the shelves of Home Depot, Macy's, Kroger Grocery Store, CVS, whatever it is for you, and if you heard this term EDI software, I want to explain what it is, why you should care, why you need it, and the things to think about in regards to going after chain stores. Before we begin, I just want to explain real quick who I am. I run a company called Retail MBA. We teach people how to get products into chain stores. For the last 13 years, taught well over 100,000 people on how to approach, pitch, and sell to retailers. Absolutely love what we do. So we create a ton of training helping you to scale your business. So please subscribe, comment below. We appreciate your support and take a look at what we're up to on the links below, retailmba.com. So with this, that said, let's talk about EDI software and retail and why it matters to you. Uh, another thing is EDI software. Basically, all chain stores need to track the orders from you. And so when they work with you, what they do, say they like your product, they'll give you a purchase order and then they'll set you up in the system. They'll have you fill out paperwork and then they'll give you something called a vendor number. And a vendor number is really like a number that represents you. So, you know, they'll give you a number that's stamped as you. So when they're tracking you in their system, when you're shipping products and goods and all sorts of things, they'll have you under their, this particular vendor number. So everybody gets one if they, if you get an order from them, it's called a vendor number. And that vendor number is gold because you're in their system as a vendor. And that's the paperwork I was talking about. So basically, you need to get something called EDI. If you're going to work with a chain store, you can look it up, do Google searches and so forth. But it's a software that you're going to need. There's lots of companies that sell it. If you work with a fulfillment house, someone who's actually packaging and shipping your products, what you want to do is maybe ask them, do they are do they have an EDI component? Meaning if they already have EDI in their system and then they can handle the tracking like for an extra fee, find out do they provide EDI as an option for you? You know what I mean? So a lot of fulfillment houses offer that. The other thing is that you can go online and just pay for EDI if you're going to go after chain stores because when they start working with you, they're going to ask you, do you have EDI? And so it's just another thing. It could be a few hundred bucks or less or more, depending on how what company you use and so forth. And that's something that you're going to have to think about. You need to make sure that the software that you use is for retail chains. They'll be very specific when you're talking to the company. Yes, we work with the big chain stores and there's certain EDI software that works specifically for retail. So just make sure that company works with chain stores. Again, costs vary based on volume. It doesn't have to cost a lot, but it's just something that you're going to have to include as part of the chain store thing. You can purchase at the time of the purchase order, shortly after getting a purchase order from a chain store, but it's something that you're going to have in order for them to work with you. So start at least doing your homework in advance about which company you're going to use and or if your company, your fulfillment house, the people who are packaging, distributing your product, shipping your product out, has that as an option, you just need to get EDI software. So again, the chain stores can't really proceed without you having EDI. So again, this is part of a whole slew of checklists of things that you're going to have in order to work for the chain stores. Most of the ones that, that you need don't cost much, but they're just something that you need. And a lot of times retailers don't even have the patience to tell you what they need. If you don't know this by now, they don't even bother with you. So this is stuff that I just like to share with people. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you'd like to know how to approach pitch and sell to retailers, please take a look at the links below. You can take a look at retailmba.com. We work with people who want to do the work themselves and go after stores themselves, or we work with people who need some additional support where we actually help you understand how to go after stores. And then we do the work for you. There's a lot of opportunity for us to help you wherever you are in your business as well. We work with every product category at every stage of your business. So if interested, please take a look at what we're up to, retailmba.com. Otherwise, like, subscribe, comment. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for your time. Karen Waxman, Retail MBA. And we are honored to be here with you today. Thank you.